How you doing? Thank you for tuning in to this here video presentation by Mr. Larry Whittington, or as he want to be known, Mr. Witt. Mr. Whittington's know all about mathematics, and that is why he founded the Fort Bend Tutorings. Today we're going to learn about word problems. Not the kind where you curse people out, but the mathematical kinds. The kind I don't be understanding at all. Alright, get your ink pen and your pencil ready. Take notes, because you finna learn from Mr. Witt. Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Mr. Witt with Fort Bend Tutoring and today's tutorial is going to be about solving work word problems but this time, because we already have a part one out there, this time I'm going to be giving you guys some more shortcuts that I actually introduced you to in the first video. That's right, I'm back. Mr. Witt's here to help. Fort Bend Tutoring's in the house and we're going to help you out with some more work word problems and how to solve them more efficiently and effectively oh yes but first i would ask for you guys to subscribe to the youtube channel for ben tutoring go ahead and click on that subscribe button and in addition to that go ahead and click on that bell icon if you like what we're giving you oh yeah go ahead and click that bell icon and you'll be notified when we upload new and fresh content Mhm. Mm that's right whether it's live or not all right so go ahead and subscribe you know what I'm saying so let's go ahead and get into the festivities because I want to show you guys a few of these work shortcuts that I've been waiting dying to show you there you go so here we are guys so the first shortcut I want to show you is that if you have two people working together two machines working together if you have two inlet pipes two outlet pipes working together this formula right here will give you the result that you're seeking so the a value in this formula will represent the first person's time or the first machine's time or the first pipes time versus the time of the second machine or person that'll be represented by that b value all you got to do is multiply those values together and divide by their sum and you have your answer and done yeah, that's all there is to it. I know, it's like magic, right? So let me go ahead and hook you up with some more of these work shortcuts that I found out for your use, you know? Let me go ahead and hook you up. For instance, another work shortcut is for when you have one thing working towards something and one thing working against. For instance, let's say you have a work word problem where you have one inlet pipe and one outlet pipe. Those things are working against one another, right? Well, if you have a situation like that and that second value is larger than the first value, then you can go ahead and hook this formula up right here. There you go. That's right. Go ahead and soak that in. You know, these are nutrients for your brain. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. You want to let that marinate overnight so that seasoning, you know, that wisdom, the knowledge can sink in deep. You want it to be deep seated. OK, that's what you want. All right. Let's go ahead and then look at this one here. If you have two things working towards a goal and one thing working against that goal, then you can use this formula right here. Yeah. There you go. Where in this case, the two things that are working towards that goal would be A and B, whereas the one thing working against that goal, you know who that person is. You know who that person is that's trying to hold you back. You know who that person is. You'll call that person C. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yeah, I'll let you fill in the blank. So therefore, let's move on. What about if we have three people working together? That's right. You, your brother, and your sister are all cleaning the house. <laughs> it sounds fun, right? Go ahead and use this formula here to find out how long it'll take you guys working together to finish cleaning that house? There you go. This works well right after a party. Okay? There you go. Especially if your parents weren't there. You know what I'm saying? You, you don't have parties? So let's move on because I have my first problem for you. All right. Here we go, guys. In problem number one, we have one pipe can fill a tank in 15 hours. And a larger pipe can fill the same tank in 10 hours if both pipes are used simultaneously how many hours will it take to fill this tank that's what we want to find out so in this case notice that we have two pipes working together that we do and we want to find out how long it'll take these two pipes to fill the tank that we're referring to notice that the job being done is one job this one job is filling up this one tank so these shortcuts work well when you just have one job one goal one object one tank 
being filled. All right. So let's look and see how we will actually calculate this. So what I have before you, let's go ahead and get into view here. Let's go ahead and get that in view. Thank you. Let's say that in problem number one, we know that we have those two pipes working together. We already know that it takes the first pipe 15 hours to fill the tank while it takes the second pipe 10 hours to fill the tank. So since my A value is 15 and my B value is 10, let's go ahead and find out what this result will be. So we'll end up with X will equal to my A value value being 15 times my second value which is 10 divided by their sum which is going to be 15 plus 10 right so we'll end up with 150 divided by 25 last I checked 150 divided by 25 is 6 guys so therefore it will take 6 hours for this job to be done with those pipes. That's right those pipes will be filling the tank in 6 hours working together there you have it and there you go. That's all there is to it. That's why this is called a shortcut, because it doesn't take that long to finish. OK, there you go. You can go ahead and send in your thank you letters today. OK, there you go. Send those thank you letters to FBT at TutorMeMath.net. Thank you. Here's the website. It also has the email address. And we, of course, will be red boxing it. That's right. Red boxing it. So I wanted to remind you guys that you, of course, can set up a paid online tutorial today with me, Mr. Witt, at TutorMeMath.net. Go ahead and click on the online tutorials there. Mm -hmm. Click on that. Set up an online tutorial with me today. Let me be your one-on-one -on -one tutor. So go ahead and check that out, guys, at TutorMeMath.net. And let's move on to problem number two. Here we have it. In problem two, we have an inlet pipe can fill the tank in eight hours and an outlet pipe can empty it in 12 hours. How long will it take to fill the tank if both pipes are left open? This is what we want to know. Let's go ahead and solve this, shall we? Well, we should know that we have one pipe working for the goal that we have in mind while the other pipe is working against us. So in a situation like this, we can use this shortcut right here where the time that it will take us to fill this tank is going to be found out by using the formula x equals a b divided by the difference of b and a given the fact that b is greater than a well in this case b is definitely greater than a because it takes the inlet pipe eight hours to fill the tank whereas it takes 12 hours for the outlet pipe to empty the tank so plugging our values into our formula here we'll have x equals to eight times twelve divided by 12 minus 8. Now what I'm going to do because I'm a little lazy here, I won't be multiplying that 8 times 12 because that looks like drama. But instead I'll be going ahead and subtracting 8 from 12 because I know that answer is 4. And the benefit of this is I can simplify before I multiply now. For instance, I know that 4 goes into itself once, that 4 goes into 8 twice, and lo and behold, I just have to multiply 2 times 12 to get 24 hours. Exactly, ladies and gentlemen, 24 hours indeed is how long it will take for that tank to be filled when the inlet pipe is open as well as the outlet pipe at the same time. So we will be red boxing it that's right and this is our solution for problem number two using the work word problem shortcut look how fast that was guys i know right i know you're gonna get an a on this test aren't you yeah you are let's go ahead and move on to our next problem here for our next problem guys we're looking at problem number three and in problem three we have babs can clean the house in two hours joey can clean the same house in six hours and it takes lamont three hours to clean the same house mm -hmm. how long will it take them working together well that's a situation like this mm -hmm. where we have three things three people in this case working together for a common goal yeah we'll be using this shortcut right here because our values for a will be two the b value will be six the c value will be three here and let's go ahead and put that website in view there you go you want to make sure that branding is working and also let's go ahead and get this title down here why don't we move this title here why are you hiding up here when you could be in view of everyone let's let's make sure that's in view i think it's in view now yeah, it's in view. Looking good now. Yes, yeah, looking good. So let's go ahead and solve for this time that it will take the three people, Babs, Joey, and Lamont, to clean this house. Yeah, let's get this house clean, guys. So we'll be multiplying two times six times three, all divided by 
2 times 3 plus 6 times 3 plus 2 times 6. Let's go ahead and extend that. There we go. Yeah. So with that being said, we'll end up with the following. I'm going to go ahead and leave this 2 and the 6 and the 3 alone right here because I think my lazy is about to kick in. And I'll have 6 plus 18 plus 12 and then adding all of that in the denominator here. Let's see what we end up with. We know that 6 plus 18 will give us 24. And then 24 plus 12 gives you 36. And then we could simplify this, right? Because in the numerator, that 2 times 6 times 3, it equals 36, guys. I believe the answer is 1. That's right. It's going to take them one hour cleaning this house, working all together. That's right, guys. We will definitely be red boxing this answer here that's exactly what we'll do so with the shortcut yeah it didn't take that long at all we just plugged in the values and simplified it that's it life is good that's right for been tutoring we're into saving lives that's what we do here with a shortcut there you go it's free take it take it and run run like the wind with problem number four guys we have the following problem a hot water faucet fills a tub in 30 minutes and the cold water faucet in 20 minutes. The tub can be drained in 15 minutes. If both faucets are open while the drain is open, how soon will the tub be full? This is what we want to know. Mm -hmm. Oh, we definitely want to know this. Let's go ahead and see how we all solve this. Here we have it. Mm -hmm. Problem number four, guys. Are you ready? So we have two things working toward the goal. And one thing working against the goal of filling the tub. So in that case, you want to make sure that your C value mm -hmm, is going to be the amount of time it takes to work against the goal. Whereas the A and the B value in this shortcut are definitely working together towards the goal. Plugging our values into the formula here, we'll have X equals 30 times 20 times 15. All of this is over the following A times C, which will be. 30 times 15 plus B times C, which is going to be 20 times 15. Oh, that's supposed to be a 20 right there. We can fix that. We can fix that because that's just hideous. It's a 20 times 15 minus 30 times 20. There we go. There we go. It's in effect now. Thank you. So what we'll do here is I'm, I'm going to I'm going to wait on that numerator because the number is going to be large and it is scaring me. But in the denominator, we know that 30 times 15 is going to give us 450 that I know plus 20 times 15 will be 300. Thank you. Minus 30 times 20 is going to be 600. Mm -hmm. And now in the numerator, we'll have that 30 times 20 times the 15 oh yes and then in the denominator here we'll have the 450 plus 300 gives you 750 750 minus 600 that's going to give you 150 yes it will and check this out guys we know that 15 goes into itself once 15 goes into 150 10 times that this result in the numerator is 600 and 600 divided by 10 yeah 600 divided by 10 is 60 guys so it's going to take 60 minutes 60 minutes guys for this tub to be full when you have the hot water faucet the cold water faucet and the outlet all open at the same time that's right which means we'll be red boxing this now red boxing it ladies and gentlemen there you have it red boxing it number four is complete absolutely Fort Bend Tutoring and Mr. Witt is in the house. Guys, just to remind you to subscribe to Fort Bend Tutoring FBT as we will continue to bring you more free math tutorials. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And as always, if you're able, please donate as that helps us bring you more free math tutorials from me, Mr. Witt, and Fort Bend Tutoring FBT. Peace.